Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. I'm bringing you guys yet another XRP update. If you guys are enjoying these regular updates, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button. But now let's get right into it. So let's take a look at the broader market. You know, the broader market as far as altcoins go, especially the old coins right now. I did mention this earlier as well, but if you missed that, you're seeing the old coins actually flying right now. Look at FTM, look at Matic up 12%, BTT of course due to Tron. A lot of exciting stuff right now happening across the board um so yeah let's take a closer look and see what is happening and um yeah we'll come back to the price as always but before i do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so shout out to anders you know really really posted something that i wanted to share with you guys so it says on the first page of ripple's homepage showing all partnerships they chose to showcase and their respective headquarters a piece of global network so you guys can see um you know they have like a map and just you know labeling the companies and you know the banks or whatever these entities are that you know ripple is actually collaborating with and you can kind of see this um and um, yeah that speaks for itself right because a lot of people tend to think that you know ripple in terms of you know a project it's not trying to get xrpl ledger to the masses but you know this is is right in front of you and moving forward you know ripple net committee on ripple homepage and the six organizations they chose to showcase down the pick below so you know take this um you know this is what i want you guys to realize in both cases we find the highest concentration in europe and especially in london two of six ripple net committee members and three partnerships in london alone london is also a location we've seen most job openings for ripple in the last few months with over a third of current jobs opening being offered in london so you could really see that you know ripple is trying to expand in europe and it, could this be you know a reason why you know you're seeing the likes of stan tender and you know um charted um, I'm sorry, Standard Chartered, you know, actually partnering and looking into Ripple. Um, could that be a reality? Maybe they know something that, you know, we don't. Uh, and, you know, they're actually trying to expand within Europe. Let me know your thoughts down below regarding this. But speaking about Office, um, you know, that Ripple has, um, shout out to XRP Drops. You can see Ripple Office Worldwide, 15 of them. US has, of course, four. You know, you're looking at, um, you know, headquarters in San Francisco and New York, Washington, D.C., Miami, Canada got Toronto, uh, Brazil got San Paul, um, Ireland, you guys get the idea. London has, um, obviously, UK has London, Switzerland, Dubai, India, Singapore, Australia. And, you know, you could really see that, you know, Ripple is expanding. It's expanding in other jurisdictions as well. And, um, you know, in terms of partnerships that, you know, we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, you are noticing that, you know, some of these other countries outside of North America are actually seeing more exposure in terms of partnerships, in terms of, you know, uh, them actually starting to use, uh, you know, the Ripple I'm sorry, Ripple's platform, you know, the XRPL ledger, you're seeing some banks, you know, testing the CBDC. And that really shows you that the interest, you know, for the future of finance is actually, um, you know, there. And some of these entities are actually, you know, seeing the vision, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's all about the vision. And you're starting to see the right moves being made course people tend to focus more on the native tokens price on a day-to-day -day basis but you cannot ignore this stuff but let's talk about price you know um you can see xrp trader shift 100 million xrp worth 60 million into a long-term storage so of course the ruling has triggered notable bullish change in investors behavior and again i've covered this with you guys before on-chain data indicates a significant uptick in the number of investors adding xrp to their long-term savings portfolio so pretty much what this showing is that you know there's a massive uptick right after you know we heard that judge torres ruling how you know ripple has to pay 125 million dollars to the sec since then you're starting to see an uptick and you know it's not hard to sense that even within the price and again if you follow me on my channel on a day-to-day -day basis that's something that I've been discussing. So you can see this shift is evident in the declining exchange reserves as investors move their XRP holdings into cold storage, meaning that, you know, 
investors are not leaving their uh, coins on uh, you know the exchanges because they think you know long term they're uh, thinking you know the long term um, outlook on XRP is much better compared to where it was before. And still, with that said, even though you're starting to see this uptick, I think this uptick could have been much higher personally. You know, if you know we didn't have some people on the sidelines thinking that you know. SEC could come in appeal and you know if you think that's a small amount you'd be surprised there's still a large large amount of people that are still on the sidelines in terms of you know uh, thinking of uh, getting into XRP because of course they have done due diligence research and understand what XRP is about but still a little bit iffy and now you guys may be wondering how do I know that because of course I'm a content creator and I see that firsthand and again you got to respect those people um, because you know at the end of the day that's part of their due diligence uh, going uh, further you can see crypto quants exchange reserves charts show that the total number of assets held in exchange wallets historically a reduction in the exchange reserve signals that investors are increasingly leaning towards long-term savings so long-term accumulation to see the long-term perspective um, and usually investors and again this is to the newcomers coming in the market as well a very very important thing that you could learn from this is the fact that if you have done your due diligence and research and believe in xrp long term you know you don't care uh, about fluctuation in price and you don't care um, if the price goes to zero because at the end of the day a risk factor you know i'm just basing it off of the risk factor if you are there for the long haul and not short-term trading then i would strongly encourage you guys to move your coins off the exchange because you do not own your coins when you have them on the exchange the exchanges have your private keys so you want to have your own private keys um obviously you know look into that and um you know that is something i would recommend you guys doing anyhow you guys can see this you know the uh, reserve on buy Finance and speaks for itself and you guys can see at the beginning of august investors held a total of 3.1 billion xrp coins in short-term trading wallets on exchanges however following the ruling large quantities of xrp have been transferred to long-term storage significantly contributing to 42 percent rally over the past three weeks interesting indeed but looking at bitcoin right now guys if you're looking at bitcoin dominance it's picking up traction once again we spoke about this uh and surprisingly you know bitcoin on the other hand also did go up uh, we spoke about this in my last update uh, most importantly the thing that we can take away is the fact that bitcoin actually did see that close above that key support line uh, i did mention this in my caspa update if you did end up watching it you know we visited this uh range before so you know it's not uh time to get super excited right now obviously for me personally i need that confirmation of that $64,000 to be reclaimed before I can start getting excited and bullish about the overall market. But the fact that you did see that close, you know, is a really good plus point. So hopefully this time around, the price of Bitcoin actually does hold above this key support, obviously not a resistance anymore, and then starts heading towards that 64K. If that is able to happen and we do get above 64K, that will give me a strong indication that, you know, this time around, we could potentially start seeing late July levels being retested. So yeah, let me know your personal thoughts down below regarding that. But as far as XRP is concerned, you know, it's holding beautifully above that key support line at 60. Uh, I'm sorry, it's obviously at 60 cents right now, above that 58 uh, cent support. Loving this right now. Um, you know, third day, going into fourth day in a row that, you know, we're seeing the price actually holding back above this. You're building strength. You know, we can clearly see the amount of strength that XRP has right now for itself. But pretty much you do want to see this resistance since breaking out and start heading towards obviously the um, highs that we did test in July um, obviously around the 65 cents and again if that is able to break out guys if that resistance is able to break out you guys know if you are obviously part of the crypto ZX family now the 78.6 fib zone is where excitement kicks in for me personally which is around a 70 cents price so let me know down below what you guys think so far so good let me know your personal uh, projections regarding XRP's price as well as what do you think about you know these offices that that are opening around the globe i would love to know your thoughts down below regarding that thank you so much for your support we'll see you tomorrow morning it's been crypto zx and peace out